Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. In today's episode, it is 2.15, a little later, but I woke up late. I've been waking up later, as I've been saying. Now that I've determined that I'm going to start drinking coffee again, I am looking forward to getting to again. I, I recognize that I miss it. It's not something that I need, but it's nice to have, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a ground, grounding? I don't know. It's like a s s stability. I don't know exactly the terminology I'm looking for here, but it's something to do every day. It's part, it's a routine. And now when I wake up, I have no routine. I just kind of like get out of bed and go, damn, I'm awake. Morning routines feels very important. It should be monster train, but I usually just look at Twitter. Anyway, shall we? Let's begin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We got Default Melting, Exile, Umbra, Soul Sucker, Darkness, Sap, Purifying Cleanse, Space Prism, Remnant Host. All zero costs in the starter. Pretty cool. Not too bad. I think that Shade Lamp is pretty good. It's not good later, but it's very good early. I, it's one of those relics that's just annoying, but I'll play it. We started with Purifying Cleanse, right? Yeah. I take Burn Bright. Especially with Shade Lamp, our reform pool is going to be full of morsels, I expect. Okay. Shall we? Uh, we're strong. We take wounds. Remember. Oh, pardon me. Shade Lamp is specifically... Oh, wait. Is... Wait. Is Shade Lamp not uncommon or rare morsels? It just says add two morsels. Hang on. Keep an eye out. I don't think Shade Lamp can give you Rubble Morsel. Maybe I'm wrong about that? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Because I just generated like four morsels at once there. A little difficult to say. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, I, I do want to talk about, I, I want to talk about a content idea I've had. I'd love to hear your input on this. Well, Okay, so the way that I see this happening is the first morsel is generated from Plink, the middle two are generated from Shade Lamp, and the last one is generated from Plink. That's what I'm seeing here. One moment, I need to clear my throat. Thank you. Uh, but, so I, I had, I've had an idea, and I'm going to try and work on this, I think, this afternoon. Uh, but, hold on, I should Plink. Yeah, give me that guy. Look at all these morsels, man. Look at look at all of these morsels. There's like eight morsels on my floor. Anyway, I made that YouTube short a little while ago. The 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 clip from Monster Train of uh, a what was it? it was, oh, it was that moment a few a few episodes ago, like a hundred episodes ago, where I said there were not going to be any incants in my next. A banner, and then it was double sirens. I made that YouTube short, and I was like, yo, YouTube shorts seem like a great idea that I should work with more. Well, I've been thinking, I want to try to make, like, condensed versions of the first looks. Like, I did that video on Dome Keeper the other day, and I think it would be cool to do a YouTube short, which is separate from that video, and it's just like a one-minute overview of the, game, of the game, and say, hey, if you want to check out more, Go check out the first look. Oh, like a like a tasting of a first look, I guess. A first look to the first look, if you will. This is Wicklash for sure. Hollow Drippings is good, but I think plus 10 attack is better. Immortal Trade. I actually don't think I need this here because I have Shade Lamp. I don't really feel like I need more space though. Targeted ping sounds like the take then. I'll take Antumbra. Fine. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I'm going to try to put one together this afternoon. Uh, and we'll see if I can get it up. The problem is that it's, like, time-sensitive and I procrastinate on stuff like this. Am I playing... Oh, I'm playing Bounty Stalker today. Hell yeah, I'm playing Bounty Stalker today. I love Bounty Stalker. I think Bounty Stalker is my favorite unit in the game. There's an Endless here, too. Excellent. How lovely. I can reroll for multi-strike as well, which is good. I want plus 10 piercing on Antumbra Assault so that I can use it on Bounty Stalker sometimes. 
Let me reroll for multi. Wow, what a great shop. What a what a great turn of events. I know you're probably thinking, oh well he's only five HP, isn't that a problem? No, not really. No, not not really. Because th these units are just gonna kill everything. In the ideal world I see draft here. And this'll win. Even if you don't think it'll win, it will win. Because the bounty stalkers will reach a point very quickly where they kill everything in one shot. And once yeah, once they reach that point, I should flink. Yeah, good job, flink. Once they reach the point where they kill everything in one shot, it doesn't matter because I'll just make three of them. And then I will scale Rector to kill bosses because Rector is a 210-210. If he is untouched by the enemies, he will absolutely annihilate. Yeah. I'm committing myself here with this play to one extra slay or one extra extinguish on Bounty Stalker in exchange for maybe taking a hit here, but I am not. So I think it's worth. Every Everything we care about here is slays for Bounty Stalker. I'll trade Pyre HP if I have to to kill him. I don't have to, thankfully. Or unthankfully. Now, I should end turn because I want Rector to not be too powerful here. Because 84 and was the 68. It should be such that Bounty Stalker dies. Yeah, by 11. I could have played the Morsel, but it was close, you know. We just want to make sure that the round goes, the combat goes two rounds, so my stealth wears off. Dripfall seems good. I also don't hate Molded, but... Actually, my biggest thought here is that Rector needs to live in Relentless. I can take Hollow Drippings for that. Yeah, too bad, no draft, but I'll be okay. So what am I gonna put on? Uh, you know what I guess I'm gonna put on him then? I guess I'm gonna self-infuse him. I feel like every time I play Bounty Stalker, I get a draft infusion, but... Not this time, so we can probably just go duplicate self-infuse, although... Yeah, why not? I'll go look at the left banner here, I'd love to see double extinguish. Wing steel. It's good. It's good here because of an, we have an endless unit that we want to play multiple times in a turn. So, there's a fringe case. I will take five pack shards here. There's a fringe case here where I draw Antumbra Assault. And I can play Antumbra Assault on Bounty Stalker and then draw the Bounty Stalker again. And that's good. That's worth playing around. Okay. Well, I suppose we move on. We stick to the plan here, which is... Scale Bounty Stalker to big number, then Rector kills bosses. Rector might have some trouble with Talos, but honestly the Morsels make it fine, I think. He gets a lot of free stats here. And we just kill off all our dregs. They're not really free stats. They're, we're paying a shade lamp for them, but it's not like it's hard to pay that. This is Soul Sucker, so I should chump this. I don't believe I want to blink. 2 5, okay. I don't think I want to blink here. Well, why not? Yeah, why not? Question. Oh, because if that happens, it keeps the Bounty Stalker alive. That's why not. I was right. I didn't want to blink there. Oh, well. And these morsels are here now. Hmm. It's a mistake, for sure. I should have, uh... I should have double, double thought that. I'll live. It's just a shame. There you go, blink. Still, uh, by the way, I am I am more firm in my belief Shadeland never generates a common morsel. I think it is true. I don't think he does it. He? And Shadeland is a, an it, for sure. There's no sentience behind this Shadeland. 7 times 2, I can offload a lot here. So I only really, I lost myself like 2 slays, or extinguishes I mean. Oh hey, here's the fringe. I get it back. Cool. So it goes Cumbra Assault, Morsel, Morsel, 
Oh, he's stalling here. This actually doesn't make a difference, though, in terms of number of total deaths. Interestingly. God, it's so many morsels. No, this doesn't make a difference in terms of no number of total deaths because we're going into Relentless here. But that's okay. I also took damage for that, but like I said, we trade fire HP. It's not even a question. Yeah, we have an 87-92 with 14 burnout on the top floor, thanks to the Morsel Gaming. And we have enough burnout because we just throw all our units away. I might manage one more play here. I'm going to not play another unit. Because I don't want to top deck Antumbra Assault. Actually, uh, hypothetically, I think it's better to play a Plink. Is it? Hmm. This is, an, this is one of those odds questions. It's a 1 in 9 that it's on the top. I think that it's like, this is the sort of thing that I don't think I want to even bother spending time thinking about. I think it's better to draw the card there. Sometimes you get Antumbra Assault. I like this time. And then you get an extra Slay. Or, I'm saying Slay, it's Extinguish. But you get the point. Cramplestone is a bait, don't take this. Wickless Recruitment's really good, I just throw this at Rector, right? Well, no, not really, I guess, because if I throw that at Rector, I don't get to make use of Purifying Cleanse and Wicklash, which are both actually very good. Nah. Could want Tycoon on him. No, I'm gonna do a Duplicate Self-Infuse. And I like card draw here. I like card draw. Probably draw energy. We don't need space because we have space prisms. And I'm gonna get this duplicate self infuse. He's already a 90 times 2 if you're keeping score. So. I think the interesting thing to think about for this run is what I would do if I didn't have Rector. How would I keep. How would I win Relentless without Rector? The actual answer to that question is I think Bounty Stalker would win it. Uh, but I'm not sure. I've been forgetting to do the unit essences. I think I showed the Bounty Stalker one, though. Bounty Stalker's essence is four, uh, plus four on Extinguish permanent attack. Is it permanent? It's permanent, right? Yeah, plus four attack permanently. I actually didn't double check that. I just thought it and went, yeah, that's permanent. I think that's permanent. It is permanent, thankfully. Bell Shield 2? Yeah, what do I care? My only spell that actually matters in this combat is, uh, Piercing. Give me more enemies with spikes. Give me spikes three, though. And yeah, maybe Plank gets to do something doubtful. Wait, re wait, what? The essence? Oh my god, the Bounty Stalker essence gives stealth one? Huh. That's bad. Oh. I didn't know that. I should have read it. I I've actually never done this infusion before, so... It's better to play the Antumbra Morsel behind because I have healing in this deck. This isn't good. My mistake. I mean, now I know. It's probably one of those things that I read like two years ago, or sorry, a year ago, and I went, oh, I would never do this, and then forgot that I read that. If I were to take a guess. I was hoping I would hit the Clip Conduit there. Oh well. I drew Antumbra Salt, which is not great. Huh. I don't know, I guess it's... It's like, it's not that bad, I think. You, it, what's interesting is if you go look at this... Look at this run through. And tell me... I guess you can't make a good comparison. You can, you can tell me how many... Hypothetically, because I made a mistake on Talos, what's the maximum number of extinguishes I could get on Talos versus what's the number of extinguishes I'll be getting in this combat? I think it's actually going to be closer than you think. Oh, a spell shield goes before damage shield. 
Wow, well, I guess just if Plink never misses. Great job, Plink. Save me 10 damage. The reason that this isn't going to be so bad, actually, uh, after thinking about it a little more, is because of Relentless. Unless he- wait, he just kills them in Relentless. Hold on a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. It's bad because he just wins. Alright, you know what? Great point. Didn't think about that, did I? An interesting problem, to say the least. He's too powerful. Alright. I need Relentless. I need, like, Resin Removal, but it removes my buffs. No, the actual answer to this is to find more ways to kill Bounty Stalker myself. These don't do it. And it, it's a really interesting thing. I also maybe should take Prism Retrieval there to make Bounty Stalker free. Hey, Malika, I don't need any health. Thank you, though. Hmm. Well. If I duplicate Bounty Stalker with two, malt, two stealth, it's uh, two, two units with 126 times two. Here's the deal. I'm gonna go right because I'm pretty sure another Bounty Stalker is just game over anyway. I will... I, I, at the end of the day, I guess I should just play this the way that makes sense, right? I don't think there's any reason to beat around the bush here. We can just go second Bounty Stalker. Like, oh no, he's not gonna have the biggest number I could possibly see. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Oh, Crystal Cloak's sick here. Probably. Maybe she kills me. Unsure. Not 100% not confident, actually. Alright, one. Uh, just kill him first. Two. Three. Good. Save myself the health. There's no reason not to play drag here. Two. I could have. Could I, I have played. Ah, uh, yeah, I could have dodged Ember Drain there. It's it's one of those things, though, where even though I could have dodged Ember Drain, I, it, it's the sort of thing where a lot of times dodging Ember Drain there is not good because it'll get me hit. Or, like, mess up my Bounty Stalker or something. It's one of those things where I, even, even if the play is technically correct, it's better to just not do it because there's going to be situations where that play is not correct. And I am... Like, in this run, it's better to have played my units first, but in mo in a lot of cases, or not in a lot of cases, it's just better to get hit so that I don't fuck up later on, like in a run five years from now, when I'm still playing Monster Train. Mostly, mostly being facetious. Five years from now? Come on, don't be ridiculous. I mean, Rector looks really strong here. I have to say, he's doing a great job. And the morsels, like, we have enough. This run's really interesting, I guess, to me. Because Bounty Stalker just pops in, dies, but kills two and then repeats. And then on the top floor, we have Rector, who is just an absolute monster. Hey, and Humber Assault, I do get an extra kill now. Your death is not on the table as a guarantee. But we have all of these guys who just sit behind Rector now. And energy's not a problem, so I don't have to care about Ember Drain and things like that. That much, anyway. But we just get two Magma Morsels and we save damage. I'd love to see how much damage we've been we've been gifted thanks to Shadeland. Saving it. Now, I'm a little bit worried here. Although, I'm not actually that worried, because Rector has like 100 health. Oh, misplay! No, not misplay. I wouldn't have actually been able to replay him. Not misplay! Not misplay! Correct play! Great job! Oh. Rector wins this. Okay, so since Rector wins this, I'm just going to put the Bounty Stalkers in front to die. Great job, Rector. He's done it again. My man. What a genius. 
Oh, Intent on Death is a hell yeah. Intent on Death immediately swings my opinion in favor of uh, self-infusing the Bounty Stalker being better. Like, instantly swings it back. I think I go look for Remove Consume. What am I going to find over here? Double Extinguishes is what I'm going to find over here. But Remove Consume is probably better. Also, minus one Antumbra Assault is good. Wow, it actually is here. I go into every shop expecting the absolute worst. I almost, oh, I almost fucked it up. <laughs> it would just be like that one battering ram incident that didn't happen. You don't remember that, do you? No, me neither. No, no, I don't remember it either. There's no more temples. I'm already over by 15. No, I'm under, I'm over by five. All right, I'll take the, I'll take the relic. Now, I probably should give Arcus a little bit more respect and be sure I don't kill myself here. But, not a lot of respect. I don't think I care. Bounty Stalker goes bottom floor anyway. Ah, good little intent on death. So now every time I play intent on death I of course get 12, which is good. Phase shard really farming me, but I think we are we're on pace to one shot like next combats heavies, so feeling reasonably strong here. I shouldn't be lazy though. I should make sure I generate morsels where I can and feed up my man, because morsels are the plan up until the divinity, for being sure I win relentless, and then in the divinity fight I will just have a bounty stalker. Make sure we space prism up here. Not a misplay, it does work this way. I know that. You're allowed to just ping him with your last card. Ending turn. Well, I may as well play Remnant Post. What? I deserve it. I deserve to get this card out of my hand. Only Stalker, no kills here. No ways to kill. Face Prism. Yeah, this is like... This is good. I like we I think that this run is pretty much in the bag. I don't have anything interesting to tell you from here on. However, I cannot bear to leave a moment of silence in these videos. So I've I've given the morsel purifying cleanse. But the remainder of this run is just min-maxing slight or extinguish triggers, which I enjoy because you get to watch it's it's something where I get to make these plays and I get to watch the number go up, which feels great. Got to play another card, yeah. But I don't really have a whole lot to tell you about this run. Like, I like to keep these informational where I can and be like a nice introduction to Monster Train before you eventually graduate to watching uh, Dusk, who is a super genius at this game. However, all that being said, did I not take Dripfall? What, what did I take instead of Dripfall? Oh, it must have been Hollow Drippings, right? I must have picked Hollow Drippings, because I took Wicklash in the first combat. Yeah, I took Hollow Drippings, surely. Let me get another kill. I don't think it matters if you focus one specifically or not. I don't think I care too much. I, I said I was going to have to respect Arcus. I was wrong. Arcus, uh, the, the, mo the most respect I have to give here is to myself, which is to say I need to... I don't, I don't know. Like, I need to not play another Bounty Stalker, because I'll just kill him. So, maybe I draw Antumbra Assault. Oh, I should have drawn with Wing Steel. That was a waste. Could I have drawn Antumbra Assault? Ah. Oh. on Death. There's still time. No! Well, I do get a kill, at least. I mean, I'm, I'm really beating my... I'm not beating myself up that much, but I'm beating myself up over it. Oh, no, I missed 12 attack. Yeah, oh, jeez. I think Hallowed Halls is not good here. You know why? I don't feel like playing it. This is important. I need to take energy because I need to be able to play three bounty stalkers per turn. Don't give me pack shards, Malika. I don't want them. I'm not a 200 shard gamer. That's not me. Sure, give me resin block. Still have two trains towards, but 
this is the power of Bounty Stalker, of course, is that I've added like zero. I got endless multi strike in the first combat, and now we're just chilling. Have nothing more to do. I just let it rock. I don't have to add any more cards so the deck gets to get very thinned out. I actually could probably proc Shadow Box here. I don't know, I have nothing better to do. I'll buy Shadow Box, sure. Look at my third cavern. Yeah, I've been waiting for something like Major Minor Refraction. It's very good, because it means that I can play three Bounty Stalkers on a floor without having to draw Space Prism. Very solid stuff, but... I don't know, I was, gonna, I was about to go off on a tangent and then I got a bit sidetracked going, did I not get Dripfall? What was I going to talk about? I'll talk about Dome Keeper. You know what? I won't talk about that game. You guys picked up Dome Keeper. I feel like that game is interesting to me because it, it has done... It's the opposite of like every other game I've ever done content for for me. That is to say, it's done really well on Twitch, but the video didn't do as well as I expected it to do on YouTube. Domekeeper is like, it's, it's a game that a lot of people are watching on Twitch, but I, and I understand why, by the way, I understand the reasoning, because uh, I think that this game is actually, in long form content, really boring to watch. I think that the game is carried on Twitch by being able to just talk with the streamer about something while, while you watch them do something mundane, but on YouTube it's not particularly engaging content, I don't think. Doesn't matter. Which is interesting, it's, it's interesting to keep an eye on games like that and go, this is what's good, this is what's bad. And what performs well where. But, definitely, regardless of how it is for content, you should play that game. It's extremely good. I'm gonna be hyping it up for the rest of time. Now, I need to not disrespect this wave and die. This is not... we are out of the territory. Record no longer one-shots everything. So we have to make sure we use our eyeballs to see where we need to play Bounty Stalker. Well, I need to. You don't need to do anything. You can just keep... you can just keep chilling. Maybe sleeping, depending on what you're up to. I might allow it. But... Now, the game's very good, and I have high hopes for it. I just... I, I feel like I... If I, if I were to make content about that game, I would have to be very confident in my ability to do this, which is to sit here and just bullshit with you, and I am not. I think I am okay at it at best. But Monster Train and... Uh, well, I guess really just Monster Train, right? Monster Train is not a game that has a lot of downtime for me to speak over. Uh, I've played games that have good downtime. To speak over. I played Neon Abyss a little bit. Why am I playing these morsels? This run is over. This combat's over. I played Neon Abyss and that one was fun. Uh, trying to just rack my brain for things to find to talk about is surprisingly difficult. I take Crushing Demise here. Any card that kills. Yeah, any card that kills. Uh, I don't want to see these morsels. I don't care if it's right. Don't type. No, no, you can type to me. Type me about how I should pick Cannibalize here. I'm gonna type it. Go ahead. Min-max me, I dare you. 342 times 2. I, there was a period of time, by the way, where I thought that Bounty Stalker struggled if you went endless because you would, you would just not win, was what I thought. I used to think that Bounty Stalker would struggle. Yeah, Wax or Snuffer, sure. <laughs> I, I would think it would struggle because, specifically Endless Burnout 1, I guess. And I thought that because uh, you would just not kill bosses. However, I have since come to realize that it doesn't really matter if your unit has 5 HP, if they do 342 times 2. It doesn't make a big difference. I'm actually going to buy some removals here, because what can happen now if I remove a few cards is there's a very strong high roll draw, which kills the divinity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because we have two stealth, it's like six. Uh, let's let's do this seven, fourteen, uh, two thousand. Yeah, okay. So if I high roll my draw on the divinity and draw all three bounty stalkers, I will kill the divinity in three turns. Like before the enemies reach me, the divinity will be dead. So we can remove some cards to try to make that happen because that's fun and exciting. Oh, I don't have plink anymore. 
Yeah. Tumber assault, sure. I think it is good to just assault my own guy. Get him out of here. Uh, Seraph doesn't have stealth, by the way. Interesting. I'll be filing this away. But... Yeah, Dome, Dome Keeper is good. Definitely check it out. That's, that's pretty much the conclusion of this thought. Uh, I, I like it a lot. It's a great game. I don't think I'll be making any YouTube content for it. However, if you want, you can come check out the stream. I will be streaming it probably tonight. Li likely tonight. Although I might be doing Arcanium tonight. I'm sure. I, I'll, I'll see. I'll, uh, I'll think about it. Either way. Oh, there's sap! I have to play a drag. I'm not thinking about the sap. Of course. The morsels can't attack. I was about to hype up Shade Lamp there. Uh, no longer. Oh, this is the perfect kill. Great stuff. Oh, these two are dying? That's fine. I'm... I'm okay. Like, no matter no matter how you look at it, I'm okay. I'm like, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, oh man, I could be peeling off damage shield and trying to get big hits in. I'm, I'm good. I think I'm fine. I think at the end of the day, I don't actually think that Rector would beat the boss on his own, to be fair, but I don't think Rector is going to be on his own. I think he's going to have the boys with him here. Got to catch everyone up to each other. Hmm, anything else going on with me? Not really. Taking it easy. Playing a little monster train. I got. I'm getting back to recording. My, my, uh, my lip is mostly healed. It no longer hurts to talk, which is very nice. So I'm gonna be doing. I, I should be doing into the breach again this week, and then something else. I'm gonna keep it to two videos a day. Might try to go up to three again for a little bit if I find something I want to do, but. Oh wait, I don't need to kill two of them. We'll see. Parsing all of these goddamn morsels, man. The, the, oh, morsel bloods, wow. Now, like, perfect example of why I don't like to take Shade Lamp, though. It was great early, don't get me wrong, extremely good early, but it makes me have to... It extends the run by so much. This run would be done if I wasn't having to play all these freaking morsels. But. I am playing all these freaking morsels, so. I guess I can't complain. Yeah, he actually just kills him. Oh, hilarious. Wait, these morsels are in my way. Alright, good job. I didn't miss. Do you kill? Excellent! We found one that dies. Hell yes, I'm not playing any more morsels. Get me out of here. Oh, and we drew all three bounty. Look at this draw. I think I'm gonna make the biggest one stronger yet. I'm gonna go ahead and buff him up to uh, 598. Now that's not correct because he has resin block on, but yeah. You know. Seraph on his last legs has to sit there as Bounty Stalker appears and immediately gets shot and turned into two morsels and then stands back up. It's got to be pretty horrifying, huh, Seraph? That's that's one. That has to be one of the most terrifying POVs. He just keeps getting shot over and over again. And his crossbow gets stronger. Yeah, we drew two Bounty Stalkers. I have enough room. I'm gonna put one of them up here for sure. Let's put the big guy up here. I'll put I'll put two up here. Because there's a chance that I top deck it. I don't top deck it, but 2185, 2233. It's actually pretty close. The other one's one space. It's I think I have it actually. I think I two turn him. Right? You're dead? Dead to this? Sick. I didn't even need it. I, I only needed to draw two. I thought I needed to draw all three. No, they all, that's it. That's the W right there. Yeah, give me one more extinguish. Oh, why not? I live a little. One more extinguish, sure. 
Bounty Stalker. I think Bounty Stalker is one of the best units if you need, if not need, but if you want to kill the Divinity in one turn. I've done it once. I have one run that killed the Divinity in one turn without a an infinite. Like a turn one kill on the Divinity. And that run was three Bounty Stalkers with Draft Infusion and Multi Strike and Melee Weakness on Strike. That I drew all three on turn one and the Divinity died in one hit. It's on the channel somewhere. I think it's, the video is probably called One Turning the Divinity. If I think of it tomorrow, which I almost certainly will not, I will uh, throw it into the description. Close, actually, to zero damage. Remember yesterday I said I want to find a run where I take zero damage and take all trials? Pretty close. One damage and five damage. Six damage taken. What a shame. I traded the five damage for Bounty Stalker health, or Bounty Stalker attack, but final score, 1486 times two, 1462 times two, and 1582 times two Bounty Stalker. Does seem pretty good. I actually think that uh, the self infuse is fine. I don't think it's bad. I think that it probably evens out to be about the same. Because it's, uh, so it's 12 attack every three turns instead of eight attack every two turns, right? Because of the stealth. However, if you add in any form of your own cards killing Bounty Stalker, I think that Self Infuse catches up. Swift except packing, by the way. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.